Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. Thank you for taking the time out to watch. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to try to make it quick. As you can see, I'm in the shop. It's dark. Got my hands dirty. Um, update. We do have the GT235 back together. And it does move forward backwards. We just drove it around for 15, 10 or 15 minutes. So um took still got the deck off took the blaze off sharpened and put it back on um so at a later time we're going to be putting the deck back on it and taking it out and do a little mowing with it so still got some adjustments to do on the throttle pedals uh something got a little off when we took it apart to put it back together so um but it does move forward and reverse just need some little adjustments so that is back together um and i might show it here in a minute but as you can tell um got a little sweat going on hey it's uh, a little after nine o'clock about 9 15 ish and uh i'm gonna turn the camera around and then show you whether this is gonna be a big mistake or if i just learned to do something else and explain to you how i did it so and i'll put a picture in here just before the next video clip to show you something that came off the quick track so stick around well, all right, as you can see, I've got the quick track up on the ramps, and that was what was in the picture, by the way. That's the old drive belt, and if you can recall, the pulleys under here were touching. Look at there. New drive belt, a little shorter. These two pulleys were actually touching. You can see the rub line on top. Where it was touching the top of this pulley so obviously um either that's just an old belt and it got stretched which is a possibility but that's an awful lot of stretch but anyway that's on and if anybody knows what that is this might be where i messed up but i saw that this was the way somebody did it so i'm taking a chance i have actually removed the PTO clutch and the belt slash blade pulley. So yeah, those are off. Um, there's the bolt that holds it all on once you get it back on there. So I did put a little grease inside of these. So when I go to slide it back on, um, hopefully it will slide up on the drive shaft a little easier. And so obviously this belt is better suited for this mower. Um, and it may even improve response with it putting that much more tension on it but uh, we're gonna see once I get this back together and there's the plug that the harness wire normally plugs into so um, the only other way to do it and I don't know if you can see it let me see if I can shine a light in here is if you look at that bracket right there it's kind of hard to see that one in front, there's a bolt right there next to the wire and another bolt there and it comes back and there is a bracket that that arm that sticks down right there actually is so close to this pulley here you cannot get the belt in between it. There, You can't twist the belt, it is no way to come off. So uh, some people may or the dealer may tell you that you've got to take that bracket off which it passes through um, the back of the bracket here and it's actually mounted I don't know if you can see it well I got a ratchet on it it's right over there get my ratchet out of the way you see those two bolts right there that's what's holding that bracket on but it's a bolt and a nut on the back it is a 13 millimeter but funny thing is is you had to find a way to get Either a really long extension and maybe an impact, you might get it off a little easier. But uh, this is simply take the bolt out of the PTO clutch, drop it down, and this one's been probably original because it still it was kind of had to do some tapping with my mallet to get it off. But got the new belt on, got good separation on the pulleys there. So um, I'm gonna try to get this back together. Uh, this is a 16 millimeter nut, by the way, and uh, yeah, 
So, I'm going to see once I get this thing back together, if, uh, well, if I can get it back together, we'll see. And uh, if I get it back on the trailer. So, stick around and I'll let you know what happens. All right, y'all. A uh, little bit of grunt work. But, let's see if I can slide up under here and get y'all a decent look at this. It's back. PTO clutch mounted. Both belts on. Uh, as I mentioned before, good space on the pulleys. That's a good... Probably three eighths of an inch or better, so no pulleys touching. And I got this one back on for the belts. So, yeah. Now all I got to do is take it down off the ramps and make sure that it uh, moves and the blades come on. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to run it out here real quick in the dark, quick, probably 30 second run, and uh, I'll come back and let you know um, if I'm a halfway decent shady mechanic. Yes, I said shady, not shade tree. <laughs> but uh, hey, here we go again with the quick track. You've seen the shredding in the belt it's like right there it's like two or three cuts right there together so probably wouldn't have been long before it left me sitting in the yard and uh i probably would have been pushing it off that cliff that uh <laughs> oh uh, me and wild bill talk about every once in a while so uh shout out to wild bill wild bill's adventures y'all check his channel out and um let me run this thing out here make sure it works and then i'll be back to close it out all right so as you can see it's back up on the blocks or the ramps and uh, took it out uh, drove good turned the blades on nothing happened and so turned them off and on a couple times I did also replace the platform switch here um, but I checked it when I got back it's working good so I got to looking around and somehow what appears to have happened if you can see that disc there on the clutch I think it's just in a bind so what I'm going to have to do is, and it's a little, it got a little warm, so I'm going to just let it cool off. I'm going to leave it part here, and um, yeah, I'll come back tomorrow, unplug the wire, loosen the bolt, uh, double check, make sure that gets under that lip, and then once it does, tighten it back up, and uh, make sure we got it running right. So that's that. So, that's that one. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, hopefully y'all learned a little something out of this one. And uh, I'll do an update on this once I get it back together. But for now, um, I got the Z-Track on the trailer. I'm going to put everything up here in the shop and run up to the house. And grab me a little bite of something before I jump in the shower. So, as you can tell, I need it. Um, nice and grungy. So, uh, again, thank y'all for watching. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel and commented and liked the videos. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And y'all be safe. Be kind. Be blessed. Catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.